Okay, so this is one of my frequency cases. All right, and what we got here is a um, electromagnetic fields testing gauge. Okay. And this is your typical blow dryer. They've been known to cause high electric magnetic fields, also been known to cause uh, or contribute to childhood leukemia. Um, sometimes this can cause irritability, brain fog, things like that. So excessive use of blow dryers with high magnetic fields probably isn't a, a great idea. I'm at a hotel here. You know what, before we do this, I'm gonna have to put on my, my Faraday hat because I don't want to be exposed to it. One second, let me, I'm putting on my hat. This is a Faraday hat which protects my brain from electromagnetic fields. You could buy these there. You should probably wear these. And see, that's a mirror, right? See the hat? Okay, so now I'm going to try to do this with two hands. Hello, Claudine. Hello, Mark Sector. I know you think I'm nuts, Mark, but watch this shit. This is crazy. Here's our blow dryer. Okay. And, he, and let's look at our... I'm going to set up my gauge. I just kind of put it here on the sink. And we're talking not a whole lot of milligauss. And we're going to turn it on. And... Basically, hold on, let me get my gauge going. Okay. Oh, uh, maybe the battery died. Nope. Why isn't this working? Hold on, give me, bear with me here. Oh well. Can you believe it? It broke. <laughs> All right. Well, why is it the blow dryer working? Debbie, did you break the blow dryer? What? The blow dryer broke. Right in the middle of my test. Hey Neil, how are you? I'm trying to do a test with this GFI and the blow dryer broke. Oh well. Anyways, what I wanted to do is prove a point that blow dryers produce high electric fields and generally when you blow dry your head you're bringing the electric fields very close to your brain. So I would recommend air drying whenever you can. Hey Greg, how are you? Um, let me see if I could try something here. Well, there is power. This GFI works. By the way, there's a GFI that a lot of people, they trip and they think they have a problem. There's also a GFI in the blow dryer. So let's plug it, let's try it one more time. Oh, there you go. All right. And you can see our electric fields are cranking. We're at uh, around 500, 600 milligauss. Hey, Dan, how are you? Now let's crank it up. All right. And you can see now, this is a one axis gauge, so I kind of kind of move it around. But you can see, Very high level. And I have another gauge. I'm going to go get it. Let's try this gauge. This is a three axis gauge. And let's 
and you can see it cranking up. Now this is a three-axis Miller Scout electromagnetic field gauge. You're talking if your head is within a couple inches from a blow dryer, you kind of blast yourself with EMF. Now if you go at a lower speed, you can see how it's dropping. And if you turn it off and just air dry your hair, there's hardly any EMFs at all. Which probably explains why all these people now are shaving half of their heads. I'm thinking maybe they're having problems with hair growth, you know, and the other, that's the side that they blow their hair on, or maybe the side of the head that they use their telephone on. Let's crank it up again. There it is, there's the motor. You can see it cranking about, right? Of course, I have my Faraday hat on. By the way, you could buy these. These are like $50. Anyways, I do perform frequency inspections. And uh, this is just part of them. You know, you have radio frequencies that um, you have from your smart meters that pulsate. And these are bad. You have uh, magnetized beds springs that are magnetized and if you sleep on your right side your heart and your left breast get magnetized that's probably could be a reason why left breast are higher cancer rates in America than Japan because Japan doesn't have bed springs um, then we have these are used for um, um, microwaves generally I've been tested homes you can't even stand in your kitchen while you're using your microwave. That's magnetics. And then I have other gauges, electric fields, dirty voltage. This is kind of cool. I, I've been doing this in homes and finding radioactive isotopes in people's closets. A lot of the, um, a lot of the pots and glazes uh, have uranium-235 isotope in it. Okay. We'll see you later.